Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I'm uploading a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Today I am bringing to you another Dollar Tree Blink to Chic transformation. This is a series that so many of you seem to really enjoy because it is using a $1 item from the Dollar Tree and I usually transform it into something that I'm gonna call Dollar Tree Bleak into something farmhouse chic. And today's decor piece that I am transforming is this cross here. And as this cross has a beautiful saying on it, I absolutely love it. I am one who likes to look outside of the box, think outside of the box. I wanna turn this into something farmhouse, something chic, something rustic that I can put up on my wall that people are gonna walk by it and say, wow, where did you get that? And then I'm gonna tell them that I made it and I made it for just a couple of dollars. I can't wait to show you what I do with this cross and how I transform it. This is such a budget-friendly DIY, and like I always say, this is definitely one of those DIYs that can be done to suit any decor style, just by switching up a couple of items, and I'll give you some suggestions as I'm doing the DIY. So let me quit my gabbing, let's not waste any more time, and let's jump into it, and let me show you how I transform this cross that you can find at the Dollar Tree now that I just hauled in my latest haul into something Dollar Tree bleak, into something farmhouse chic. I love this. Alrighty, starting off, I'm gonna take some of Waverly's chalk paint in the color of elephant, and I'm gonna give this cross a good couple coats of this to really cover up the existing design. Now, because I'm doing two DIYs in this video that are going to be somewhat similar, I decided to do them side by side instead of doing one, finishing it, then doing the second one and kind of repeating myself. So, for the second one, I will be using one of these Valentine's Day wall decor plaques that Dollar Tree had during Valentine's Day. I had it left over in my stash. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the metal heart embellishment and they come off pretty easily. Then I'm gonna take just a piece of sandpaper just to kind of smooth it out. You want, don't wanna go too rough with it. You just wanna smooth it out so when you paint it, there's not that rough patch there. Now these plaques are very common at the Dollar Tree, whether it be for a season or a holiday, you just gotta keep your eye open for them. Once that base coat of paint is dry, I will be using some of Folk Arts Crackle Medium because I love that crackled look. Now I know that there are several ways to achieve a crackled look, or so I have heard, one being using glue. I have been unsuccessful in achieving a crackled look with that. I have found that it's just, I think, a lot more work and a lot harder to achieve and I really didn't like the end result. And so I personally don't mind investing in this crackle medium. It's one that you can get at Michael's, Joann's. It runs about $7.99, but when you use a coupon, you're gonna pay about $4 to $4.50. A little goes a long way. This is probably my second bottle that I've bought in a year and a half time frame, and so I've used it in several DIYs. When applying this crackle medium to whatever surface or DIY it is that you're trying to achieve that crackled look, depending on how much you put on your project is going to depend on how much of that crackle effect you get. And so if you want a heavier crackle effect, you're gonna put more. If you want a lighter crackle effect, you're gonna put less. And so you really want to make sure that you get your piece covered and you're gonna to wanna to let this dry. You're gonna want this medium to get good and cured before you apply your top coat. 
For this DIY, I'm definitely switching it up a bit, going with those gray tones. And so for the top coat, I wanted to go with a lighter gray. So when the crackle effect takes effect, that darker gray is coming through the cracks. And so to get that color, I'm using some of Waverly's ivory paint and I'm also going with Apple Barrel's pavement. Once I got the color I was happy with, I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to my dry surface. Now when applying your top coat over the crackle medium, you really kind of want to move fast. You don't want to go over one area too many times because it will ruin the effect of the crackle. And you'll see that when applying your top coat, that that top coat dries pretty quickly and the crackle effect starts to take effect pretty quickly as well. So like I said, because I'm doing kind of a two-in-one DIY, I was doing this set for myself and so I wanted it to be a pair and I wanted it to match because it's going to go on the same wall. This is definitely one of those DIYs that if you want to do both pieces differently, you can. You can easily switch up the colors. This can be made to suit any decor style. This could be bright and vibrant. It really is your DIY, so get creative and make it your own. For the cross, I thought I would add one of these metal words that the Dollar Tree has been carrying for each of the holidays. The glue that I'll be using today is this Quick Grip Glue by Beacon. This glue is amazing. You can find it at Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby. I am loving it so much better than E6000 because it dries so much quicker. I'm going to use this and I'm going to apply some of this to the back of this tin word, metal word, blessings. And I'm going to go ahead and place this right in the center of my cross. Now when placing this down, I don't want the glue to ooze out all over my project. So if you just place a bit of paper towel over the top of it and really press it down to adhere it on, any of that glue that may spill out, the paper towel will absorb it. If I've said it once, I'll say it again. I am very true to my nature. When I have a style, it's one that I kind of stick with. And so taking a black ink pad, Dollar Tree carries these. They might be a little bit harder to use along the edges of your DIY. You can get this type of ink pad at Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby for just a couple of dollars. They're very inexpensive and they're easy to work with. I'm using a black one and I thought it would look really cool to outline this gray Cross. I figured the contrast would be great. It would really add dimension to it. And so I'm just going to run the ink pad along the sides and just go as heavy as light as I want. I know that in some of the angles, the corners of the cross, I want to go a bit heavier just to really distress it a bit more. Once I've got it good and distressed, I will be taking these rub-on transfers from the Dollar Tree. I am loving these and I thought that these would be the perfect addition to this cross just to add a bit more detailing to it. And so I did cut up the rub-on transfer sheet just a bit just to kind of pick and choose some of the leaves that I wanted to use. And so for both DIYs, honestly, I only needed one set. This one sheet worked great and so I just kind of got creative and added some of these leaves to the bottom of the cross and to the top as well and I think it gave it the perfect finishing touch. It added just a bit more detailing and I'm super happy with the outcome. Now using one of these wall decor decals, I am in love with this Our Father Who Art in Heaven prayer. I thought that this was such a great find. I found it probably about three or four weeks ago and I picked up a couple because I knew that this is what I wanted to do with it. I'm just going to put this right in the center of this longer plaque. I am loving the way it looks in the middle and again I'm going to take my ink pad because I'm making this a set and I'm going to just highlight those edges and distress this a bit more. On that one set of rub-on transfers from the Dollar Tree, there was a lot of leaves and vines. There was more than I needed, and so because I had so much left, and like I said, if I sound like a broken record, I was making this a pair, I thought that I would add just a bit of these leaves and vines, and I guess it even kind of looks like ferns in there to the bottom and the top of this plaque as well. There were existing holes at the top of this plaque that had twine hanging from it, but when I painted it, they filled in. I like the look of it being solid, and so to hang this up, I'm gonna go to my go-to method, which is using twine. 
One of the things that I really like to do the most is to take those items that you would otherwise pass up at Dollar General, Dollar Tree, 99 cent store, even Michaels or Joann's when things are on clearance that you would pass up because the style doesn't suit your decor, but the price is right. And you look at it and you think like, wow, if it were just a bit different, that is such a great price items and how you can so easily for just a couple of dollars transform them into something that suits your decor. That is something that I really like to do is when I see these items such as this cross, Yes, it is a very nice cross. Like I said, I love the saying on it, but it's not a piece that I want to keep up in my house year round because it looks like a plaque that you got at the Dollar Tree. And so I love the shape of it. I love the style of it. And I could very easily transform it into something farmhouse chic, a piece of decor that stays in my house year round that doesn't look like one of Dollar Tree's plaques that actually looks like a decor cross that you might've got at Home Goods. Kirkland's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, you name it. And the piece was only a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I hope you all enjoyed today's bleak to chic transformation of this Dollar Tree cross. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget, and bye for now, everybody.